Hey you guys, today I'm here with my current go-to makeup routine. I'm gonna show you how I get a glowy, natural looking face that's suitable for pretty much any time. So I'm starting off bare faced, nothing is on my skin, and I always like to begin by tackling my brows first. I'm using this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and applying that on top of my brow hairs. And I'm also putting some all around my eye crease area as well. Then blend it in, and this will help to ensure that my brow pencil stays in place and that my eyeshadow won't fade. Next, I'm taking this Kiss Pencil in the color Light Medium Brown, and this is what I've been using for years and years to fill in my eyebrows. Love this pencil, plus it's only like two bucks, win-win. And I take the spoolie in to brush my brow hairs together, really get them in formation. Then I go ahead and outline the shape I want my brows to be. I like doing the bottom first, so I get that line and make the tail. Then move to the top and connect it. Once I have my basic shape, I go and pretty much color in the inside so I don't have any gaps. Looks a lot better already. I'm taking a really small flat brush and using this MAC Studio Finish Concealer in a shade that closely matches my skin tone to clean them up and make the edges nice and crisp. And I only outline the bottom. Some people do the top and the bottom, but for me, just doing the bottom does the trick with less steps. And then I start bringing that concealer down, and this will help it to blend and look more natural so it won't be like I just have a line right underneath my eyebrows. Then I'm gonna take a brush and smooth that out. And right here, as you can see, I'm also taking whatever concealer is on my brush and applying that all over my eyelid so my entire eye area matches and it looks seamless. After that, I'm using the leftover concealer that's already on my small flat brush and making a line right down the front of each brow. Then with my spoolie, brush it over into the rest of the brow. This is gonna give a subtle shaded effect. Then wipe away the excess with my finger. And the last step with my brows, I'm taking a concealer about two shades lighter than the previous one I just used. And I'm gonna use some of that and apply it just under the arch of my eyebrows. That'll give me a small hint of highlight, which I really like. So now for my eyeshadow, I have my Urban Decay Born to Run palette and I'm using a color called Riff, but pretty much any medium brown color would work as well. I'm taking some of that on a fluffy eyeshadow brush and basically sweep it back and forth at and above my crease area. And I like to keep working that in and building it up until I get the color intensity that I want. Looks pretty good here. I didn't want to do too much because this is for daytime. Using the same pencil as I used on my brows, I'm lining my lower lash line to help bring in a little definition to my eye shape and make my eyes stand out a bit more. Then I'm taking this e.l.f. liquid liner and lining my upper lash line. Now this is optional, especially for daytime. Sometimes I don't use liner, but I usually like to because to me it makes my eyes look bigger and more elongated. So that's why I prefer it, but you can definitely skip it. Then comes my false lashes, and these are my favorite lashes at the moment. And I get a lot of questions on what lashes I wear, and right now, these are it. They're really comfortable, they're not too dramatic, and best of all, I get them right from the beauty supply store. Now for my face, I'm using this vitamin C serum to moisturize. Very important to hydrate before applying foundation. Next, I have this Pour and Shine Control Primer, and I place on a few dabs of that, then rub it in. And this primer works really well for me to keep my foundation looking flawless for longer. It helps to keep my face from looking oily or like my makeup is melting off. Good stuff. Now 
Once I have that done, I go ahead and apply my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I like to pour some out onto a damp makeup sponge and dot it all around my face. Then bounce and pat until it is completely blended in. And with foundation, especially for daytime, I try to use the least amount as possible so it doesn't look too heavy. Then I'm taking this True Blend Concealer and applying it underneath my eyes. I go down the sides of my nose to help define it and then I bring the concealer over to brighten up my dark under eye area. Using that same sponge to start blending that in. And I can get it mostly blended with this, but around my nostrils and right under my eyes, it's a bit harder to get with the sponge. So I then take a flat brush to finish the job and buff everything so the concealer is ultra smooth out. To set the concealer, I'm using the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. Again, with my sponge, dip it into the powder, then press onto the areas where I applied the concealer. I always hit my chin and forehead as well to mattify those areas. Then I chill for a few minutes and let it bake and bake and bake. After about three to five minutes, I take this brush and sweep all of the powder away. Then I go in with this LA Girl Concealer and make a line on each side of my face right underneath my cheekbones. And using this brush, blend it all in. And now my face will look a little more sculpted. Taking my trusty brow pencil again, and I'm actually gonna use this to contour my nose. And I like using a pencil because I feel like it gives me more control. What I do is make two lines to outline my bridge and then I take a little flat eyeshadow brush and blend those lines out until they don't look so harsh. And then to clean it up, I'm dipping another small flat brush into my setting powder and patting a little bit of that on each side so my nose is totally defined and it doesn't start to melt into my under eye area. Now I'm going to highlight. I'm using Champagne Pop Highlighter by Becca. First applying it to the high points of my cheeks. Then down the center of my nose and a little on the tip in the corners of my eyes to really brighten them up and on my lips. And this helps me look super fresh and glowy. Then I usually just throw on whatever lip gloss I see first. Today I went with this orange tinted one. Some mascara on my lower lashes to further make my eyes pop. And then finish with setting spray to take away the dry look from the powder. And that's basically what I do in a nutshell. This is my go-to makeup look. And you can see now my face looks more vibrant. It has more definition and dimension, but it all still looks super fresh and natural and not overdone. I also love this look because it works for almost any lip color you wanna wear. So right here, just to demonstrate, I'm doing a darker lip. I used Fenty Unveil Lip Paint. and NYX Cairo Lip Cream on top. Really love this lip combo. And then for something still defined, but a little bit softer, I'm using my brow pencil to outline my lips. And just going all over that with Amplify by The Balm, which is a glittery pink gloss. And that's all there is to it. 
So I hope this video was helpful, guys. I'll have all of the product information in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching as always, and I'll talk to you soon on my next one. Bye.